This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. Thousands of people forced out of their Riverside County homes, hoping firefighters will be able to get a handle on the Highland fire burning near Temecula. It is 10% surrounded after burning more than 2,400 acres. The flames are still threatening more than 2,300 structures. At least three have already been destroyed, including the homes of George Boyles and his wife. They watched as their house of 15 years, which they just paid off, went up in flames. It didn't take long. Once the trash cans caught on fire on the side um, with the cardboard that we had there, uh, that was it. The rest of the house just, it just lit up. I saw the curtains go up, the TV go over, uh, yep, the whole, the deck, everything. We lost everything. We didn't, pretty much, we lost everything. Firefighters say winds are now pushing the flames southwest. More than a thousand firefighters are working to contain the fire from the ground and the sky. NBC7's Ashley Matthews joins us now with a look at our forecast. Ashley. Hi, Monica. Happy Wednesday to you. Hope everyone has a wonderful day today. Uh, we still are dealing with these Santa Ana winds a little bit throughout the day today. Uh, elevated fire danger because of that. They are definitely weakening throughout the day, but very dry conditions out there. Very low humidity and poor air quality too. some blowing dust and smoke out there from the fire in Highland, the Highland fire in Riverside County. But for your highs for this afternoon, looks like this low 80s for the coast, mid to upper 80s for the Inland Valley. Thank you, Ashley. Today, a man accused of stabbing and killing a woman at a Del Cerro motel is expected in court. On Friday, a weary bacon barricaded himself in the motel with a knife, causing an hours long standoff. Bacon is accused of stabbing a police dog sent in to help apprehend him. Police say they found a woman's dead body inside the hotel room with bacon when he was arrested. He will be arraigned this afternoon. Also today, the woman accused of slashing a sleeping trolley passenger is due in court. MTS trolley officers arrested Angelina Strickland at a trolley stop in Lemon Grove. She was booked into jail on charges of attempted murder and robbery. Officers say they were able to identify her as the suspect from a wanted poster. Strickland is scheduled to be arraigned this afternoon. It is the end of an era in Pacific Beach today. Today is the first day parking meters will be up and running throughout the main business district in that coastal neighborhood. Up until now, street parking was free along the main drag. NBC7's Nicole Gomez reports from Pacific Beach with what you need to know. Well, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised and, and maybe a little taken aback to the fact that these meters are going into effect today. So free parking, no longer the case along the main drag here in Pacific Beach. And of course, it's happening on a day when we're expecting close to 80 degree temperatures on the first day of November. So here's what you need to know the next time you come down to PB. These meters were installed on Garnett Avenue between Mission Boulevard. That's the street closest to the beach and Faneuil Street. Also some blocks of Cass, Hornblend and Bayard Streets as well. The meters will be in effect from 10 in the morning to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday with fares set at 125 an hour. Parking will be restricted to two hours max. The installation is a part of a one year pilot program after which officials will assess the success of the program and how to move forward. The initiative was given the green light by a PB planning group three years ago and then got the stamp of approval from the city council a year later. The goal here is to increase parking turnover in the business district, hoping to attract more customers, visitors and encourage the use of public transit like the trolley. The money raised from parking will go into the city's general fund and will also be used to pay for mobility programs in PB, including the Pacific Beach free beach bug shuttle program and more bike lane. Being a beachgoer myself, being out on the beach and having to come out, come back every two hours or whatnot to feed the meter, um, to me doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do parking. Well, keep in mind, these meters do not accept any cash or any coins, only credit cards and mobile pay like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Reporting from Pacific Beach, Nicole Gomez, NBC7. Changes may be coming to Hillcrest that would double its population. What some are saying about that proposal next. Stay with us.
Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, go over to the left and navigate to news. Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. Home sales hit one of the lowest levels in September. According to the Redfin Data Center, inventory is low in our county, keeping prices high. When you mix that with high mortgage rates that are inching towards 8%, not a lot of people are making offers. New data from CoreLogic shows just over 2,100 homes were sold in San Diego County in September, down 20% from August. It is the lowest number for September in at least 35 years and the eighth lowest sales month ever. Big changes could be coming to Hillcrest, including a plan to build a 30 story high high rises and essentially double the neighborhood neighborhood's population. It's all part of a new city planning proposal to attract more development to the area. That plan covers a 350 acre area, including Hillcrest and portions of areas like Mission Hills and Bankers Hill. If adopted by the city council, the neighborhood could be housing around 50,000 more people by the year 2050. Some Hillcrest locals are concerned about what this would do to their community. I just don't know. There's not enough answers there as far as the infrastructure is going to support this if they bump up the density. It's going to be exactly downtown and we have downtown and we have gas lima and Hillcrest is different. It's historic in so many ways. The proposal also includes more one way streets, streetcars and a tram to Mission Valley. You can give your input on the proposal via email for the next few weeks. We have more information for you on NBC7.com. A local mom and professor says social media poses a threat to the mental health of teenagers. Now her research has been cited in a lawsuit filed by 33 state attorneys general. Social media is supposed to make people feel less lonely and more connected, yet at the same time, the teens started spending a lot more time on social media, more started to say they felt lonely, more started to say that they felt depressed. Dr. Jean Twenge is a professor of psychology at San Diego State. The lawsuit accuses Meta's social media platforms of contributing to teen mental health issues. Dr. Twenge says she's observed a correlation between the rise of social media and an increase in depression among teenagers. Heavy users of social media are about twice as likely to be depressed as non-social media users. In response to the lawsuit, Meta says it is committed to providing teenagers a safe and positive experience online and that it has already introduced more than 30 tools to support teens and their families. We'll have a look at your weather forecast right after this. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response is dedicated to helping you. You guys were able to get a different result. I have so much gratitude. Whether it's in Spanish or English. We're one team. One team. Investigating, getting answers, making sure every phone call, every email gets a response. Because this isn't just our job. This is our community too. And we're here to help. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 Response. One team fighting for you and your money. Hello, hello, Ashley Matthews here with a look at your weather for today and the rest of the week and the weekend, of course, with San Diego's only 10-day forecast. Low 80s at the coast, mid to upper 80s today, this afternoon for the inland valleys, above average for this time of year. We're going to be seeing really nice temperatures over the next uh, couple of days and the weekend, too. Mid 70s for the weekend for the coast, low 80s for the inland valleys. Quick look at the mountains and deserts as well. Mid 60s for today, breezy conditions and deserts are coming in low 80s. Hope you have a great day. Thank you, Ashley. You usually see them taking on the bad guys in your favorite comic books and movies, but this Halloween, those same superheroes took a break from their crime fighting to spend some time at Rady Children's Hospital. For the last seven years, crews with A-plus window washing have spent every Halloween dressing up as superheroes to help put a positive spin on the time these young patients spend at Rady's. So every year, these local window washers suit up and they spend the day with them. More coverage you count on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.